Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert. I've been looking at Black Shiny Wah, which is one of the plugins that's the guitar stomps that are included with the uh, with the Pro Tools bundle that's uh, bundled with Ultimate these days. And um, I've I've got a track here that's uh, it's got some guitar in it. And it's got some sort of like tremolo-y guitar part on it. And I thought maybe I could experiment with a wah instead of uh, instead of tremolo. Here it is. It's sounding a bit nasty right now largely because of this. But that's because um, what a wah pedal is, is it's, it's, a, it's a resonant filter, and at that peak you can place it anywhere, you don't have to move it, and you can shape the sound um, dramatically just using that peak and positioning it where you want it to be. However, that's really not what a wah's about. A wah's about moving it with your foot, and while you can grab it with the mouse like this, um, that's not that's not really ideal. And um, as we all know, you can't control AAX audio plugins over MIDI. Uh, but actually, in this case, you can. If you right click, here you go. You've got MIDI CCs, which uh, is a useful thing. It's very easy to set up. All you do is uh, you need to create a MIDI track. Here's a MIDI track. I'll just record enable that and make sure that's seeing something from my keyboard. It is. And then if I just Route this to Black Shiny Wah, then there we go. We're, we're good and we're good to go, and you can assign that any way you want. I'm going to assign it to the mod wheel. If I had an expression pedal, that'd be fantastic, but I don't only have a sustain pedal, and that's, that's just switched on off, so it's not really appropriate for this. But here we go, and now via the mod wheel, I can uh, move my wah pedal. Fantastic. So uh, just, right, here we go. And there really is as little to it as that. Now, what I will say while I'm here is there are two wires available. This black one is a bit more brutal sounding, actually, than the shiny one. What are, the other thing that I'll say is that if you're using a, a wire, that's one point where you do want to be careful about your plug-in order, just because if you put it after your amp model, it sounds very different. But the correct place for a wah is before the amp. So just a thing to keep in mind. Also, especially if you've got time-based effects and stuff, if you move a wah that's going through a delay so that the wah action is delayed, it sounds different to if you've got a wah after the delay, so you've got a delayed signal being wired. But uh, yeah, something to think about. But that's how easy it is to set up the uh, Black Shiny Wah for control over MIDI.